This one is alive. This is still alive. Still fresh. Look at this one. It's just been unloaded. Nobody has things like this to eat. Only we have such goodies to eat. Do you come to the fishing port every day to pick your fish? Yes, every day. If there's no strong wind, fishing boats will go out to sea. Then we'll come to pick fish. When animals foam at the mouth, it usually suggests that they're dying. But when the same thing happens to a crab, it means it's full of vigor. From the very start, we just wanted to raise non-toxic min crabs. The idea was sparked off by the fact that lots of crabs coming from China have drugs in them. So we thought we'd do things differently. In raising mitten crabs, there's no feed designed for them. So we tried many types of fish feed as a substitute. When examined closely, the ingredients of some of the fish feed actually contain lots of antibiotics. You can only find this out when you send the fish feed to the lab for analysis. We had to first learn a lot of lessons. Some people tell you to put up nets. Some say to build houses for crabs. Some say to build ditches or plant some moss. What a load of rubbish. The one thing that mitten crabs need most is fish meat. Fish meat is the only best thing. We usually sell mitten crabs from the end of September till the end of December. Then they're sold out. Right, none left. Every year is like this? Yes. Then you start raising crabs from January. Yes, baby crabs are released into the ponds from January. Then they are raised into September? Yes. They're raised for eight months in total. Yeah. So customers mainly come here for steamed crabs? Yes, mainly for steamed crabs. How many hectares of crabs do you raise? About one and a half hectares in total. One and a half hectares? Mm. How many crabs can one and a half hectares accommodate every year? About 40,000. 40,000? That's right. For the first year, we didn't have a clue. Being young and frivolous, we just did what was recommended to us and raised about 100,000 mitten crabs. The number of crabs that survived was about the same as what we have now. That was a lesson learned during the first year. The crabs were overcrowded? Yes, exactly. You need to tip it out. Never mind. You're using this cage to catch crabs? Correct. It's called a ground cage. So you put the bait in there? Yes. The crab will be lured in the cage. Apart from this, we'll intentionally lower the water level as crabs prepare to lay eggs. When it's time for harvest, they'll head out to the sea with the flow of currents. We're creating a situation to make them aware that by following the current, they can get away. But in fact, a trap is set up right where they're heading. This crab, for instance, has lost both of its pinchers through its fight to gain territory. What can you do with crabs looking like this? I know. Besides, it won't live for much longer because it can't eat without the claws. So we'll see if someone might take a shine to it. It will taste just as delicious. Would you be interested? If not, I'll eat it myself. You can see that it has trouble moving. So moss has grown on its body. So there it is. We have them in all conditions. We use bulrushes from Dajia to tie our mitten crabs. There are two main reasons for choosing this bulrush. Firstly, these crabs will absorb the aroma of bulrush during cooking. Secondly, bulrushes won't release any harmful substances. Crabs in China are tied with cotton strings. I sent them for a lab test and found them to contain bleach.
what sets their mitten crabs apart from others? The biggest difference is their rich yellow roe. Look at this crab fat. After being steamed, it tastes like honey, really creamy. This is crab milt. Do not mistake it for not being fully cooked. Steaming it for another hour, it will still look translucent like this. It's very creamy in texture. Of all crabs, only male mitten crabs have this milt. Female crab roe will be red and hard. It will cover the belly. The texture will be similar to that of virgin crab. So we'll recommend to our customers who are here for the mitten crabs to go for the male crabs. If you're after the meat of mitten crabs, then it's available throughout the year. But with mitten crabs, the point is to savor the roe and milt. For this reason, it is only in autumn during the mating season when mitten crabs are the tastiest. Of mitten crabs in our farm now, 90% are male, leaving only 10% as female. When I started raising crabs, I had half of them male and half of them female, 50% each. But then I found that customers all seemed to prefer eating male crabs. That's when I did a taste test and realized that male crab milk is more appealing. So the male crabs in your farm are very pitiful <laughs> because they're deprived of any opportunity of approaching females. That's right. They'll stay a bachelor and have no opportunity until the day they die. No chance, you're right, they're all virgins. That's brutal. Yes.